Okay guys, so I'll be playing as the support guy today. I have a laser cutter shield projector and an orbital barrage and I can use a cloaking field to hide people from view. Uh, customization obviously can't seem to do much at the moment. Choose my perk, increase damage output by 5, uh, jet crack recharges, jump height, uh, cycle between items. Uh, as some support, there's no point me doing damage, jump in, it's to keep up with everyone. So as long as I can keep up with everyone, I should be all right. Uh, our DJ guy is the healer. And I'm trying to decide who everyone is. The Griffin guy is the one with Daisy. There you go, there's the healer. Uh, I'm just waiting for the ones to connect now. So who's, who's Marco? Well, someone's... Uh, That is weird. <laughs> I have some fromage French people in the game. <laughs> so, I have to find a way to mute them quickly. Man guides aren't naturally aggressive, they defend themselves. The electrical bursts from their tentacles produce quite a jolt. Cool. <clears throat> Hank is the support class. He provides the team with a tactical advantage. Support's cloak ability is the team's best tool to recover from a losing fight. Activate Cloak to revive teammates or flee the fight unseen. When in combat, use the laser cutter to deal heavy damage. Aim the orbital barrage, then deploy it to rain down death from above. And that's what killed me last game, when I was the hunter. When I was the, uh, the monster, sorry. So, <laughs> so this guy is the massive damage dealer. He's the heavy guy. Okay, so I'll have to. So, so no one's really a tank then. We've got the assault guy. He might, he might be the tank. I don't know. I thought the support guy was the tank, and he did all you know the aggro and all that kinds of stuff. But um, he seems to be like just buff man, you know, like a like kind of a healer, but not. It's just about buffing more than healing. So Daisy is not with us anymore. This is a different character and he must have something else. Some other unique ability. Cool. Let's go guys. Alright, big gun. Got my cloaking, got my laser projector. Cool, okay. So, monster scared birds, so over there. Jetpack dodge. Double tapping as you move forward allows you to cover more ground. Dodging is extremely useful. Ah, that's how I move quickly, really, really fast. Search for tracks. How do I search for tracks? Is set up. So no one's really a tank from what I can see. Um, it's just more about monster tracks. Is set up. Oh, that's what these blue lines are. I see. Monster has cooldown reduction. Alright, we found him already, have we? So the healer and the support should be really good friends, kind of. Um, so the, this climb thing is going to be really annoying. Me. Right, okay, so... Where is Big Man? Right, there's no point cloaking, there's no point wasting that kind of cooldown. There he is. Alright, so this is more 
This is more of the, mo the more useful. Whoa. Alright, let's go. We need to get him before his. We need to get him before he regens armor again. Whoa. So what, what is that? Can I hear him or something? Alright, the monster's scared birds. Yeah, so we're following him, but I don't know how we're following him. What is that that's pointing out his location to us? What is that? Giant fucking turtle. What the fuck? Pick up buff. Uh, I have no idea what he's on about. Right. Uh, so let's try and use everything. I need to use normal charge and my cloaking field a bit more often by the looks of it. Uh, I need to start using this dodge a lot more as well to get around. I imagine when people start playing this like pros, it's going to be absolutely insane. Okay, so he's up there. We need our team to get around to him. So with a proper team, you would do things like flanking and you'd stop him from kind of moving. Okay, or, right, there. monsters yes, now yeah, in yeah. stage two of evolution, which means he's going to be more of a bitch to kill. Alright, his cage is up. Right, okay. Uh, trying to project a shield. There we go, right, that gives healer a chance. Right. Uh, I need to use. Hey, suck on that. That's it. Right. So that keeps him moving. I need to cover him. I need to now get out of the way. Hat tree in the way, noob. Cool. Right. Now everyone's kind of, kind of dealing with it. Oh. Right, grab the shield guy, grab him up, make sure he's healed. Right. Whoa, I just took a major hit. Right. Right. Right, so that... That uh, barrier only stays up for a limited amount of time. We absolutely ruined him in terms of damage that time. And I'm start I like this guy's shield ability a lot better than the healer's heal beam. Because I couldn't seem to make any leeway with the heal beam, but with this I seem to be able to do a hell of an amount of protection. Okay. I think that's the trapper that's put that on him. I thought it was only the medic who could um, kind of keep track of where he's going. That is really cool. Right, I'm going to try and cut him off by taking a shortcut around the right side. Right, we need to trap him in now. He's gone out and eat first. Come on guys, we need to keep this moving. He's just gonna keep running. We need to trap him in again. He's going that way, so I'm gonna go cut him off. Kind of return to someone's dead. How is someone dead? Yeah, I can hear him. He's right up there. That is shit scary. Holy crap! Come down into the mines, bro.
Here's the birds. The creatures of this world gave us. Come! I don't know what everyone's doing in terms of fucking... Who's leading what? Right, drop ships inbound. For what reason? Right, I don't physically understand. Right. I can see that I'm chasing this guy around with a freaking shield generator, but what's the point? No one's here with me, it's just me and him. The rest of the team don't seem to be in jack all. I think I'm with... I can't even tell who I'm with. I think he's the assault guy. So this game's going a bit not as planned. Oh, why this guy's going a long way. Our team needs to get their ass in gear. Shield is up. Do not worry about the mark. Shield failing! Losing my shield! Nice little falling. Turn on drop ship every two minutes. They don't die permanently, but they die for two minutes. Right, that answers the question from when I was a hunt when I was a monster. Right, so people seem to have regrouped. But he's just running too fast. So climb up the rocks. Right, so he's going around, so try to cut him off. Now he's going to come towards me because I'm the only freaking. Watch out, electric bird! Hold beast! I thought that was him then. No, nope, he's going back to bed. Whoa! Mate! What an asshole! Oh crap! But this turtle thing, leave me alone! Bloody hell! I need revival from a distance, mate. I think it's a major issue. Ah, oh, you can go and do one, son. Up with you both. Wow. Well done. Right, so that was the uh, that was the support. It was a bit of a crappy game, in my opinion. Um, I I don't know if this game will be for me because it seems a lot of just running after him and all he does is run away and all you do is do a tiny bit of damage and just chase after him but I think there's a massive kind of dimension to this game that you can only kind of explore when you have a full team of people that you, you play with and you work with um, so uh, yeah that was the support game I'll see if I can uh, play as some assault horse and uh, some better trapper